Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform absurd by using copy activity in Azure Data Factory. And we are going to take care of some duplicate records. And we will be reading data from CSV file and writing to the Azure SQL database table. Now, what we have here, let me show you. Uh, that's my table and uh, this table is called the total sale Asia and uh, this has uh, all ID, sale person, first name, last name and all other columns. So now we can go ahead and create this table and this table will be created uh, in uh, our TechRes ITDB. Our table is ready as of now there are no records uh, in this uh, table. Now let's go ahead and uh, take a look on the uh, source side. Here I have my total uh, sale Asia file and uh, what we have there we are going to take a look. Uh, so we have a few of the records and uh, some of the records if you guys see right there these are the three records that uh, they are repeating. Uh, so from number five to seven if you see right there that's a duplicate data. So see right there, that's a duplicate data. So actually, yeah, these are actually entire is a duplicate data. So four of these records, uh, I just copy pasted again. So they are duplicate. Now, what we can do here, uh, if uh, I will go ahead and uh, create my pipeline, I'm going to go to the pipelines here, new pipeline, and then we are going to use the copy activity. Now in the copy activity, you're going to select the source, you're going to go to new, and here we can say Azure Blob Storage. And uh, now we'll select CSV file and here we'll select uh, our linked service. Uh, and then we are going to go to the container, that's input container and our total sale CSV file is there and it has header. So read the schema is fine. And uh, now we'll be writing to the sync. Um, let's go to the sync, create new and uh, it's called Azure SQL DB. Now we select that database and here is the link service. In many of the videos I create how to create the link services so just providing the SQL Server database name and the username and password and selecting the, the table uh, database there as well. So here is the link service already ready so I'm going to use the, the table the total sale Asia and we would like to write to that. Now what we are going to do here we are going to see their behavior. So write behavior in Zerd or uh, update uh, so sorry absurd so we are going to go with the absurd uh, that means insert new records uh, and uh, then uh, uh, if there are records you want to update according to some key you can update uh, in this case uh, i would like to update uh, if id and uh, sale person first name and last name is uh, changed uh, so if uh, the record is coming with uh, these uh, three values and one of them is changed it means it's a new record otherwise uh, uh, that will be considered old record if the all the three values match in and it will insert the records now if i will go ahead and debug what's going to happen is going to insert the records now our source has some duplicate data it will be best uh, it would have taken care of and uh, just insert the, the unique records but it does not so now you can see right there what happened uh, it inserted uh, eight rows uh, and uh, if you see right there this is uh, exactly the same data that's uh, right there under it uh, so this is a duplicate data so I was playing with this uh, scenario and I thought like how I will handle the duplicate uh, records in this case uh, so I can, came up with the one of the scenario and uh, if uh, you will create uh, the unique uh, uh, index on this uh, table uh, what what's going to happen uh, then uh, it will only let uh, uh, this, uh, let, let ADF insert only unique data. So let's uh, consider that uh, if uh, there is a duplicate data and now we want to create a unique uh, cluster index, uh, sorry, unique index, uh, it will be fine. It is going to not let us uh, insert the duplicate data. So you will say alter table, table name, and then say add unique, uh, and uh, that's uh, then provide all the list of those column uh, you would like to add in the unique. Uh, uh, index. Uh, so in my case uh, what I did I provided uh, for entire uh, um, table. You can have only maybe ID, sale person, first name, last name as well. That's going to work as well. So let's uh, alter this table and now if we alter it's going to give us error because uh, there is uh, some uh, duplicate data already there and unique constraint uh, don't accept uh, the duplicate data. Okay so what I did here I'm going to truncate the table and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and create this uh, unique constraint and once I create the unique constraint uh, then I should be good to go. Now our table has a unique constraint. Uh, now if I will go back here in Azure Data Factory and uh, execute my pipeline it will uh, insert only unique, unique record. Uh, so I will suggest you test this out. 
I was just trying to find a workaround, you know, otherwise uh, you have data flow task where you can uh, use the aggregate uh, to find the duplicate records and the condition split and all that. Uh, this was uh, just a quick, easy way how you can uh, just eliminate uh, duplicate records. Uh, so it, may, it might not work for you, or, you know, or for the some scenarios, but it was just, uh, I was experimenting and I learned that this is one way we can uh, make it work. Uh, so see right there, it has uh, eight rows and it has uh, written eight rows. Uh, but this rows, eight rows, it read from the file and probably written to the staging table in the tempdb. And then from there, uh, the insert statements uh, were written to the table. Uh, so let's go back there and uh, now we select the data from Azure table and see right there only what we have here, we have uh, unique records. Uh, now it's gonna work just fine if we will make some changes. So I'm gonna go back to file here and now think about that. Uh, I am making changes uh, to this region, a uh, test region, uh, instead of saying that Najaf Ali live in North America. And uh, that's, uh, I made the change. And uh, as we have, uh, see right here, uh, we have Najaf Ali. Uh, I can uh, even have this, uh, so I'll leave this one as it is, or even delete these records. Uh, now we are just doing some updates here. Uh, let me cancel this out. So I will leave as it is everything. Just even you know that, uh, like there is uh, you know duplicate records even coming through. So now we will uh, go ahead and debug, and uh, we should see a change uh, in the record here. So let me select that. Uh, maybe I'm uh, looking at the wrong file. So this is the uh, North America already there. Okay, so I can change to some other value. Let's say it's, it was already North America somehow. The one maybe I did not save. See, it was already North America. So I probably opened the file and did not save, save it or close it. So now if I want to do test uh, region or maybe just Europe region. Okay, so for Najaf, uh, he probably has moved to the Europe. Uh, and I'm gonna save and close them. So now we have that. Now if I execute, it should update simply, just fine. Now let's go back and check the data. And here is uh, our table, and uh, we can see that uh, Najaf, uh, for Najaf Ali, the region has changed uh, or upgraded. So this is how you will be able to actually get rid of some duplicate data if you're writing to the Azure SQL database. You will be creating a unique constraint, and that will help you to write only the unique records to your table. Um, I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching. I will put the, the code in the description so you can use and experiment. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video.